And now we have last but not least lecture for today. Two beautiful girls sitting in one row authored a paper uh, in which they actually explained how they use in practice open source tools and what are the benefits of using such tools. And today, please say hello to Andriana. No? Sorry, Katarina Simonovic, they agreed uh, for Katarina to present on behalf of them three, but they're all present here if you have questions for all of them, so please. Um, So hello everyone, uh, I'm Katarina and I am working for Serbian Academic Network uh, in department for uh, development of um, customer services. So today I will show you the way that we are using open source tool for uh, log management and uh, visualization statistics. Um, so, uh, the log file uh, management is very complex process consisting of uh, generating, transmitting, then storing and analyzing a large amount of data within information system. So, our paper and this presentation will um, explain in detail that process of um, collecting and analyzing the log messages. Um, from uh, we are uh, collecting and analyzing uh, the messages from our AMRES Adorom service, and for that we are using Elasticsearch software. And also, I will give you some example of uh, Grafana open source tool for that visualization statistics. Uh, so the Elasticsearch software is. Um, basically the set of the open source tools that together create um, a powerful platform for log management and this platform has uh, like a very centralized scalable storage and also some tools that are very good for log analysis and reporting. So the Elasticsearch software includes a Beats, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. But uh, you will see uh, that we, in our monitoring system, uh, didn't use bits for collecting logs. Instead of that, we are using syslog, because syslog was already implemented uh, in our system, and we didn't want to change that. But we have some plans in future, maybe, to, to include bits in some other AMRES services. And instead of Kibana, uh, most of the time, we use Grafana because we are familiar with it, but we implemented the both solutions and we will see what is maybe more suitable for us. So here I wanted to show you some maybe table view of all the uh, open source tools that are used in, in our log management process. So we are using free radius and uh, he is implemented on our radio server, which is um, in charge for, um, of handling authentication um, requests, pass attempting to connect to the Adorom service. Then we are using syslog for collecting all that messages, a logstash for transforming, parsing, filtering the, the log messages, Elasticsearch for indexing, storing, searching, and Kibana and Grafana for, uh, they are there for like uh, visualization tools. So uh, this figure is presenting the communication between these, uh, between the components that are located on the same server, uh, I mean Radius and Sysoc, with this remote uh, located Logstash pipeline server. So FTLR is our federated top level Radius server. As and this is the, as I mentioned, radio server, which is um, in charge uh, of handling um, authentication requests. Uh, so the authentication requests can come from users that are in AMRES network and also uh, foreign users as well. 
so uh, this uh, here are implemented free radio software and uh, this like um, in this configuration file, uh, this uh, software uh, records all uh, authentication requests into this uh, radius log file, and the um, records are there in like if uh, records messages uh, that are stored there is login okay and login incorrect. So we are here using this line log module to rewrite the these messages. So at the end, we have for um, authentication, if authentication is accessible, we have access accept, and if it's not, we have access reject. Then we use syslog to collect all these logs and to direct them into the log stash pipeline server. So here I wanted to um, show you the example of configuration of the line log module. And this is the way that we extract this access, accept and access reject format of a log. And after the log message undergoes the procedure of generation and processing, its final format is given in the below of this slide. Um, and then, as I mentioned, uh, the syslog is collecting this, all these radius messages, and uh, syslog must be configured on both sides, radius server and the logstar server. Uh, every uh, syslog configuration must have three basic elements, source, the destination, and log element. And in this destination uh, element of configuration of syslog on radio server, you can see that here we are using UDP port for syslog protocol, because in this way we can send the logs to a remote, uh, to the remote location. In our case, this is the logstash server, who, as you can see, is receiving these messages and then he's storing them into the file system that is created by itself. So uh, when we are ta talking about uh, the Logstash pipeline, uh, his role is to load, uh, to format, filter, and then to forward the messages. Um, so every Logstash pipeline has some uh, three basic elements, which is input, filter, and output element. And you can see in our input element that Logstash is um, reading uh, the log messages from a file system that is, as I mentioned uh, before, is created by syslog. So syslog puts here messages and logstash is reading them. Uh, so then we have this uh, filter element uh, which has a few components. First component is grog filter. Uh, we use this filter for parsing the log and to structure it into something that is more queryable. Uh, so, Grog filter uh, works by combining some text patterns um, into something that can match to your log. And uh, when he's uh, writing his patterns, he is using that um, key pair value semantic with regular expressions, but sometimes Logstash uh, doesn't have the pattern you need for your log, and in that case, you can create your own custom pattern file as we did. You just need to create a pattern name and then uh, to define uh, the regex for it and use this match parameter to, uh, so that you can uh, map the pattern file with your um, log fields. Uh, then um, that's logs, um, data that are sent to the log stash uh, by radio server don't have all this desirable information. So in that case, in that context, uh, we must, it is necessary to introduce some additional data through a um, lookup file. So this um, lookup file is connected to the um, log with through this access point value. 
So um, then we are using this translate filter to extract all this um, information from the file and to put it into the log. So in case that uh, our, um, so in case that um, ac uh, that access point value field is not in our um, lookup file, uh, this additional fields are going to be unknown and for that we are using this add field parameter from mutate field uh, element. Also we are using remove field element because our logs are going through several diff uh, different softwares and each software adds his own data. So at the end we removed all unnecessary elements. And here uh, at the end we have the output section. So the log stash is sent all the uh, messages uh, to the elastic search element and here is mandatory to define your index. In our case it is the monitoring. Uh, while this SSL certificates and creating user is optional. So this is how the logs looks now after we formatted them uh, into the log stash pipeline. And uh, this figure is presenting the Elasticsearch cluster, uh, which uh, consists of one master node and few ordinary nodes that can be queryable by uh, Grafana or uh, Kibana uh, software components. And a cluster is like um, uh, the group of related nodes that together can contain all the data. So here I wanted to, to show you some basic Elasticsearch commands. Elasticsearch exposes REST API and uses curl as HTTP client. Uh, so the first command is the exa example of creating an index because when you uh, define an index in your uh, log stash um, file, the index must be created before. And this is the example of cluster configuration information. So you can see that our cluster now has um, have four nodes. Uh, one master node, two data nodes, and one coordination node. And this coordination is meaning to, uh, to, to like aggregational results to can manage to queries and so on. Uh, and we are now to the visualization part. Here I wanted to show you the Grafana um, data source plugin for the Elasticsearch and you need to here put some uh, URL and if you have basic authentication details and also if you are using a CA certificate you must copy from your server and put it here. And this is how the log looks um, displayed by uh, Grafana software. So as you can see, it's the, maybe the same one as I uh, show you in previous slide uh, in the log stash, but have some maybe uh, a few new values like ID index and so on. And here is the example of Grafana query that visualizes Adrom service usage statistics. Uh, we are here writing query in, in uh, JSON format because Elasticsearch works with JSON. And uh, you can always, um, this query, you, you can save it as panels and you can create a dashboard. I think that, yes. I here want to uh, present you one simple dashboard uh, which consists of few panels where you can see here the number of successful authentication, and I think number of unsuccessful authentication, the map, and we implemented here some basic uh, filters so that we can filter data uh, by location and institution belongings. And I think that's it, so thank you. Uh, if you have some questions or comments, be free to ask. 
Thank you, Katerina. Yes, we have time for one question, if there is anyone. Or, oh, please go ahead. Uh, just a short question. Uh, did, did you have to build the Logstash filter from scratch, or did you have to, could you use some template, or how complicated uh, is that? I, we built uh, from the scratch, because we are using syslog, and it's uh, not, we don't have some like formatted log, so we must, it's our solution from the scratch. Um, I have one short, how did you decide to go for open source tools? Is it something that's been done for years inside your company or is it something that you compared to? Or uh, no, uh, uh, for, we are using uh, the Splunk management tool but he's uh, not uh, open source now so we have to pay it and then we decided to maybe build our one. To, to go into open yes. source? Okay. Thank you, thank you so much.